Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be starting a new playlist, which is going to be the C++ programming language. So in this video, we're just going to go over how we're going to install C++, what editor we're going to be using, and we'll also write our first program in C++. So the first thing we're going to do is open our browser and we're going to paste this link. I will be putting this link down in the description below, so all you have to do is copy and paste it. And once we are here, we're going to be following the steps that are under prerequisites. So the first step here is to install Visual Studio Code. If you haven't been following the channel, I already have a video on how you can install Visual Studio Code. But if you're just getting started, you can follow this link and download VS Code. Here we're going to be skipping the second step because we can do this once we've already finished our setup. So we're going to skip step two. Then we're going to go over to step three. This is one of the most important steps. Here we're going to go to the MSYS2 website. And here is where we're going to be downloading the compiler for our C++ programming language. So here again, there are a series of steps. So first you're going to download the installer by pressing this button. I already have it, so I'm now going to be installing it. And once you've finished the installation, you're going to come back here and you're going to continue with these steps. Once the installation has finished, you're going to be met with this terminal window. So here you're going to go back to the website and copy this command, the pacman command. Then you're going to go ahead and paste it in the terminal window and you're going to press enter. Then it's going to show you this, this display, where it asks you to proceed. You can just press Y and press enter. And once all that is done, just to make sure that the compiler worked and the compiler was installed properly, you're going to run GCC hyphen hyphen version, and it should show you the latest version of GCC. And once you're done with those steps, there's one more additional step you have to do, which is going to be adding the compiler to the path file. So in order to do that, we're going to go back to the previous website and we're going to continue following the steps. Once you've done all the commands in the MSYS2 website, you're going to come back here and you have one more Pacman command that you have to run, which is this one, which is going to download the tool chain for you. So you copy this command and paste it in the terminal that you get when you finish installing the compiler. Once you've done that, you're going to add the following to the path variable of your windows. In order to get to the path environment variable, all you have to do is press the windows button. Then you're going to search for edit environment, environment, then it should come up that says edit environment variables for your account, then you're going to open it. And under user variables, you're going to press on the path, then you're going to press on edit. Here, I already have the BIM file for our MSYS64 folder. So if you don't have this, you're going to press on new, then you're going to copy and paste this. If you use the default install location, you can copy and paste this directly and I'm going to put it in the description below. But if you changed the download path, then you're going to put in here the download location. And once you've done that, you can press on OK, then press on OK again, then you're set. Now, once you finish the step, that means you've completely installed the compiler that we're going to be needing for C++. Just to check everything again, you can open CMD and run the following commands. So I'm just going to show you right now. We're going to open CMD. And here, the first thing we're going to check is the GCC compiler. We're going to say GCC space hyphen hyphen version. So it's going to give you the version of GCC you have. We are also going to check for the G++ version, which should also give you the version of G++ you have installed. And if you're not getting any errors here, that means you've correctly installed the compiler. Now we can go to 
the editor we're going to be using throughout this playlist, which is going to be Visual Studio Code. And we're going to go ahead and open it up. Here we're going to go to open folder and we're going to create a new folder. Let's call it C++ tutorial. Then we're going to open or we're going to select this folder. And here we're going to go to the top left and press on the new file button. And we're going to name our file hello since it's the first program we're going to be writing. We're going to name it hello.cpp. So if you've seen the previous videos for Python, we had .py. For C, we had .c. And now for C++, we have cpp. That means C and the P's stand for plus plus. Then we're going to press enter. And here we're going to get our window where we're going to be writing our code. When you first create a .cpp file, it's going to uh, give you a pop-up that's going to tell you to install the recommended extensions. It's going to look like this. That means the one we skipped on step two. That button is going to come at the bottom right and you're going to click on install. And once you've done that, you can go back to the file and we're going to write our first program. So first we're going to put in the template code. You do not need to know what each and every term in the code we're going to write means. So if you've already followed the C playlist, then you might know what some of them mean. So we're going to put in our template code, which is going to be hashtag include IO stream. Then we're going to have int main. Then we're going to have curly braces. And in here is where we're going to be writing our code for today. So the code we're going to be writing is a program that prints out hello world to the terminal. So how do you do that? In Python, you'd use the print function. And in C, you'd use the printf function. Here in C++, we're going to be using the std followed by colon colon and C out, which just means output. Then we're going to have two less than signs. Then here we're going to put in the string we want to print out. In this case, we want to print out hello world. Then every line in C++, as in it was in C, we're going to have to put a semicolon at the end of each line. Once we've done that, we're going to save our file. And at the top, we're going to go to terminal and we're going to press on new terminal. Here is where we're going to be running our code. To run our code, we're going to be using the G++ compiler. So we have to type in G++ followed by the name of our file, which in this case is hello.cpp. Then we press enter. As you can see, nothing has happened. That is good. That means we have not encountered any errors. But if you look to the left, you see that there is a new file created called a.exe. So in order to run that file, we're going to use dot slash followed by the name of that file, which is a, then we're going to press enter. As you can see, our program prints out hello comma world. So this is a very simple C++ program. And in the coming videos, we're going to be looking at the different sections of the code we just wrote. And you'll know the definitions of every line. For now, all you need to know is in order to print out an output, you use the std followed by colon colon c out function. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily programming videos.